Hi, I'm Ben Sujono. I'd like to show you how I created a painting from a photograph. Enjoy! The first thing I do is a sketch of the dog. I use a proportional divider to get up the correct proportions. Inevitably, I'll make mistakes when I'm not using the tool. I used to use pencil to do the sketch, but now I use a marker with a fine point because it's easier to see the lines. Also, the pencil lead created a lot of dust. Of course, I can't use an eraser on a marker. I have to cover my mistakes with white paint. The white acrylic paint will dry in less than 10 minutes. Once I'm happy with the sketch, I go over the outline with the marker again to help me see where to cut the frisket film. Since the outline is full of fur, it doesn't have to be very precise. If the outline is not furry, for example, a hairless cat or a woman, then it does have to be precise. I lay a sheet of frisket film on top of the canvas and retrace the outline. I try to keep the frisket sheet as flat as possible to avoid distortion from the wrinkles. I cut the frisket sheet by following the traced outline. Again, a furry outline doesn't have to be precise. I take the frisket film cutout and lay it on the canvas carefully. I want the frisket as smooth and as flat as possible and the boundary is sticking to the canvas. Now I'm ready to airbrush the background. I spray the background with an airbrush. Since each spray is very thin, I have to add many layers. For each layer, I either wait for it to dry or use a hair dryer. I make sure that the background is thick enough so that the canvas is no longer transparent. This process requires a lot of patience because I have to constantly clean the airbrush so it won't clog. Sometimes dried paint will clog the airbrush and I have to unclog it. I do all this because the airbrush leaves no brush marks. Once the background is dry, I just peel off the frisket carefully. Now I'm ready to paint the main subject. I start by painting the base coat of the fur with medium values. For the black fur, I give a base coat of burnt umber. For the white fur, I give a base coat of gray. On the black fur, I give body with shadows and highlights. I do the same for the white fur. Please note that this process takes patience and focus. The different furs have different characteristics. Also, chances are I'll have to come back and refine my work later. I have to paint the eyes and the nose. This may be the most critical part of the painting. If it's not done right, the likeness isn't there. I have to paint the mouth, teeth and tongue. The dog portraits I've done in the past have their mouths closed. This is a new challenge for me. I have to make some final corrections. I go over the entire painting to catch any mistakes. When I'm happy, I'll sign the painting. If you like the pose, 
please click the like button. You can see more posts on my Facebook page, Ben Sujono Art. I'd be most grateful if you also liked the page. And don't forget, visit my website at linesandstrokes.com. Thank you for watching.